Hi folks, welcome to <coughs> Consumer Behavior. Let's start off with what it's all about. First of all, you know, what is consumer behavior and why should you as a student, you as a consumer, and you as a marketing professional care about it? Okay, here's the agenda for discussion. We'll start off with some basics that you might have picked up from your principles of marketing class uh, just tell you about the four P's and the evolution of marketing and then go on to consumer behavior we'll look at what consumer analysis is all about and why in some cases businesses don't treat customers the right way we'll talk about the different kinds of customers a little bit about market research segmentation targeting positioning something again going back to your principles of marketing and uh, some of the recent trends that affect consumer behavior. All right, deja vu all over again. It all started with something called the production concept. In this case, the only uh, uh, objective of a company was to make uh, um, a lot of the product and, and uh, mass produce it so that it would be cheap enough for people to buy. Obviously, that worked for a while after a a bit it did not and then they started looking at quality and hence the product concept where the function and the focus was on quality rather than simply quantity um, well great depression happened after that and people did not buy enough so marketers and sellers started pushing the product uh, they didn't care whether people liked the product uh, whether people's needs are satisfied by the product, uh, they just kept pushing it. Uh, it's a hardcore sales. Uh, and finally, thanks to uh, an epiphany amongst marketers, the marketing concept came into the fore. This is where, unlike the selling concept, you ended up actually trying to figure out what the consumers wanted and needed and then sell them what they were uh, um, wanting. Other basics, you're all familiar with the four P's, which is basically what uh, makes up uh, the bulk of marketing, product, price, promotion, and uh, a physical distribution, also called place. Uh, this whole thing is called the marketing mix, or in some cases, they use package as one of the four P's because nowadays, package has a lot of information, the packing materials, uh, the packaging outside, the color, the content, the nutritional label, the image, the shape, everything uh, is supposed to help sell the product. So in some cases, you're looking at five P's rather than four. Okay, let's look at what consumer behavior is all about. It is basically, in a nutshell, why you buy what you buy. What you buy is your behavior. But why are you buying brand X and not brand Y? That is the question that consumer behaviors keep asking. Thank you.